Well, good afternoon from the Hard Times Playing Field. We are here to see the Mother's Day presentation. It's the knockout competition of the Village Premier League, which has been an ongoing thing for the last couple of years, 10 years, I think. So uh, we are going to be seeing for the knockout. Uh, when when they tell me, I will think. So just yeah. leave it. Yes, sir, man. I see yeah. 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 Tell, tell them when they want Frankie to come and tree. Must let it lay me. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Buddy. It's hard times grappling field, and we have the Guyanese uh, fielding a team, and Rollins, they, they call them bushwalkers. They have two teams, so they're playing team number one. And uh, they'll be playing against the Guyanese. It's a uh, two fifteen over encounters. As uh, if we have another Rollins team, they'll be taking on Jets. If Easterns doesn't turn up, and that's the situation at the moment. So we have seen the Rollins team. Bushwalkers have taken the field. I see Teeny. I call him the Evergreen. He's out there with his team. Got some nice twenties and Teeny are the two umpires. Officially, we understand. That's good. So we are about to start. Um, let's see what field the bowling will be coming from the health center end. Salomon. Mm -hmm. So coming from the health center end, Salomon will be bowling. The uh, trying to settle up their field. Still, I'm waiting to give you the field. The field placing. Okay. There we go. Good afternoon. A fresh ball from each end. At the moment, Tini is going to stand in the square. Mucky is going to be at the presiding end at the moment. Good afternoon. As the crowd is building up slowly but surely, I'm looking to see here now. Um, Solomon is going to be the bowler from. He is going to be bowler, the bowler from the um, the health centre end, and I call it at the community centre end. And the the bells are just going out. We've got. A man at third man, a man at deep cover, a man at straight cover, a man at long on, long off, deep mid wicket, deep square. How many fielders do we have on this field? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it looks like Smitten is going to be doing the keeping. So Solomon is going to be bowling. Trapping man left under, and uh, the batter walks away. Left and it on the pads, just down the leg side, the wide signal. So Guyana is off the mark. One cover and come flat strokes it up into the outside. They run a quick single, and uh, comfortable enough. Right. So he's gonna have the work to do. Rakish is the left-handed batsman. Solomon goes away, left armor. Also the left-handed Rakish up, driving, missing it. Beating there, nice little Yorker. So two without loss, Guyana, batting in the first over. Solomon goes away into ball to the left-handed Rakish. Short, he punches it, but the bowler feels to his own bowling, and there is no run. Getting that one on a good line, making the batsman play. Here goes the left armor into left hand, and he swings and misses a lovely bounce indeed. Came off very quick indeed, collected by the keeper. An extra left armor, and Solomon goes into ball to the left handed Rakish onto the back foot. Slowish delivery, he looked to slap into the offside, missed it completely, and there is no run hard there. So, we are here for those of you who are interested, we are here. 
and you're hearing us or seeing us, you better come to the, the grounds here at the hard times. They played it down nicely. It's time that we, we keep a cockhead. So no ball being signaled here, so the ball goes on. The run goes on to three. All right, so two extras now and no ball. All right, and it seems as if he's going to be signaling to us uh, what? <laughs> His type of way of free it. <laughs> left hand uh, into ball to the left hand. He hits it hard and high, brings the man from the... Oh, misses it completely. <laughs> And it should have been two runs. Diving catch there went down. He did not touch it. He somersaulted in the event. And so they have had one run. It goes on to four. Two. Oh, they took the overthrow. Oh, I see. At one point in time, I thought they should have gone for the two, but they didn't. So the wall went straight over into the other side. And so Rakesh has picked up two. And he plays it easily in front of him. And score now goes on to what six? Right. Two extras, two to Rakish, one to Anand. So five at the end of the first over. Oh, the yes, and it's a 15 over encounter. So let's see what will happen. Smitten. Going to be bowling to Anand. Right hand bowler. Comes away from the mango tree end. I call it. <laughs> Hard times proper end. Here comes Smitten. Shot. Beautiful shot indeed. Brings the man from long on. Off the boundary comes. He picks up. And the umble, a single the score goes on to six. Without loss. In over number two, starting here, Smitten making the adjustment for the left and right hand combination. But did not go much um, across the ground. The ground a little bit heavy. Having had some lovely showers over the over the last couple of days, so the outfield is a bit heavy. And uh, we are seeing the left-handed. Batsman there in Rakish. Playing and missing it, coming off the body. No signal from the umpires and must have touched the bat. So, what are the rules? No leg buys, no LBW. Wides, buys. Okay, here comes Smitten into ball to the Anan. Anan plays it down into the onside, and uh, the score remains on seven in over number two. Yeah. Here they come. That's Smitten into ball to Anan. Foolish delivery comes down hard on it, gets it uh, to. The right of the bowler brings the deep mid wicket off the boundary. Score goes on to end to it. And the left hander comes up. He will be facing. Smitten the ball to Rakish. <coughs> Verified. Uh, the chief commentator. Here comes Smitten into ball to the left hand Rakish looking to play it into the onside. And uh, there is no run. So no LVW, no leg buys. Those are the two outstanding rules of the game. This particular game is 15 overs and playing across the leg. The, Ah, oh, the line and hustling through. Paul came off the bottom of portion of the bat. The score goes on to nine. Uh, end of number two. Over number two. Looks like a left arm or two. The right arm. Very bowling. Around the wicket.
So Captain Smitten giving bowlers and over each thus far. Here comes Sardin, up shot. Then it comes down hard on it and should have had a run. I think they need to set the field to cut down on these singles. Score should be on to what, 9 or 10? Sardin bowled a beautiful yaka there. Sardine stays around the wicket to the right hander. Shot plays it into the onside, goes into the boundary for four. Over pitched on the legs and Anan dispatched it into the backward square leg boundary. Four runs, the score should be moving on to what, 14? We'll Okay, one of the amazing things about cricket in Nevis is that you're going to get some seriously funny nicknames. I'm going to get back to that as Sardine proceeds to bowl. Sardine, the Calypsonian of production in nicknames, who still continues culturally on them. So it comes down on it hard, beautiful Yorker indeed. You're able to get down on it. So we have Sardine bowling, and of course, the umpire's name is Mucky. And then we have um, Urkel behind the stumps um, in terms of who are on the field right now as Sardin moves in once more to bowl. That's a bad delivery, badly lined. And uh, Urkel chases after it. They're going to look for two. It could be close, but there's nobody at the stumps. Direct hit would have done it, though. Direct hit would have done it. So, And we have names like Pig, Hug. And there was a, a particular match, Frankie, when umpire Rat was umpiring along with umpire Hug. And chicken was batting. We, we have a lot of names. Lots of names. So old McDonald has a farm. <laughs> and A1 Farms is the sponsor of the trophy here. But he produces agricultural stuff. No animals. But could have an animal farm. He came no hard on this one. And then comes up the bottom portion of the bat. The single has been hard. The score is supposed to be about, what, 13? And... Of course, you got Tintin and Mucky, the umpires. Tintin is not an animal name, but it's a nickname nonetheless. <laughs> so, too, is Mucky a nickname nonetheless? Sardine prepares to go into ball to the left handed Rak Rakish. Goes away from the community center end. Nice delivery. Ah, no! He thought he had it. Too confident. He thought he had it. Was a lovely shot. It went straight back to the bowler. Put his hands up. Thought he had it. Only to look around and see the ball ricocheting onto the wicket. Oh, the pitch finished the catch. But it was a lovely delivery. It was a wonderful over, Curtis. Actually, it was an interesting over by Sardin. Just about two balls a little off target. One was struck for four, and I think one went for a single. But outside of that, pretty good bowling. I'm not sure that he made the effort that you're talking about with the catch. I think the ball hit him, and he reacted. And uh, if he had known where the ball was, he could have taken it on the second attempt. But he was totally lost, and the ball just fell onto the pitch. Yeah, looking around. Oh, number three, four coming up now. It's Smitten, or Urkel, as he's known, as nickname-wise. Comes away from, I would say, the hard times and shot. Try to get in touch with it, but he just slipped in the event. Uh, he doesn't seem to have on his regular cricket boots. <laughs> It was eerily, but it was safe. Score goes on to 14. Making the adjustment, it's Uncle Smitten. Comes away from regular hard times and into bowl. To left hander is up there. Good thing that there are no LBWs. <laughs> LBWs and leg buys are out of the picture. Those are the rules of the game. You cannot get wicket 
by LBW route, and you cannot get runs by the way of leg buys. Anand is coming down to talk to Rakish, and, uh, perhaps to try and console him. The small crowd is pretty colorful and very vocal. In comes Smitten. Again, on the leg side, looking for the Yorker. And a widening signal now. The score goes on to 20 without loss. Smitten the ball to the right handed Anand. Hits it hard and high. Will it get the maximum? Yes. It goes over the deep mid wicket boundary for six runs. So the score moves on to 26 without loss. And over number four. Someone will have to retrieve that ball. Another ball has been substituted for it. And shot all along the ground, looking to get between the gap, but the outfield is a bit heavy from those last showers we had last two, three days. But we have said nonetheless, thank God for the rain. The outfield is rather green, but they have taken over number four. Smitten, getting some composure together. What will I bowl now? He comes away. Into ball two, and it's officially played. And they hustle a single. Smitten was trying his endeavor best to get there to make a catch of it, but to no avail. And the score goes on to 28. The odd ball goes for the boundary as the batsmen are capitalizing upon it. Smitten, tall, powerful bowler. Short delivery goes down the leg side. A wide signal now, 29. It's out without loss. may have to call this get a, a prize and put up for the most uh, uniform team to see if we'll get the teams come out in uniform. Shot into the gap, brings the man from long on around. He picks up nicely. Score goes on to 29 without loss. And it's the end of over number four. Well, actually, the bowling is pretty good, but there would have been more runs had the outfield not been so heavy. And... Uh, it's good to just watch this game because when you actually go to play, you'll know that playing the ball on the ground wouldn't get you too many runs. I think you'll have to try to find the gaps and go aerial a lot to get maximum. So uh, I'm watching this very closely, but it seems as if I'm um, scoring on the ground. You're going to look good, but you're not going to get a lot of runs. Well, until the outfield dries out, but right now it's very old. Abdul is a right armor, bowling from the community center end. He'll be bowling to Anand. It's 29 without loss. And, ah, lovely ball, tucked him up. we in midway area. Beautiful ball indeed by Abdul. Bowling some stiff off spinners. What will Anand do? We're into over number five. It's a 15 over encounter. We've got four teams, we understand. A shot, and he slaps it beautifully. Will he beat the man? He comes around, takes up easily that Salomon, and so a single has been had 30 without loss. We're in over number six. Rakish. Here comes, oh, short and wide down the leg side. And keeper in Oakland doing a wonderful job. We went in more than one, and so it's 32 without loss. We're in over number uh, six. Oh, into the boundary. Found the gap, and it was powerfully hit, and so the score would go on now to 33.
have done. Was punished for the short delivery. What will he do now? Short again, and this time was quick onto the body. Akish missed it completely. Looking to go aerial this time. You could see him repeating shadow in the shot. That it should have gone aerial to the deep mid wicket area, but he missed it completely. Oh, we have, we have been here in 10 now, Curtis. Earlier we had 15. It's 39. Skipper instructed him to come around. Oh, punished. Too short. It's 43 now without loss. He needs to take the ball up. And that should be a no ball. It's gone for... Oh. Should be a no ball. He did cut the crease. He did cut the crease. Yeah, so it should be a free hit. Right. You cut the crease or ball outside of it, it becomes a no ball. So free hit. Okay. Straight down to the man at mid wicket who picked it up cleanly off the bounce and the end of the over. It goes on to what? 44? Groundskeeper, player, youth player. Nice delivery, but down the leg side. If you touch, touch the batsman. Rolling pretty stiff indeed. Shot, straight back, brings the man from long half around. The ball slows up as it reaches the fielder and the score goes on to 43. Here comes Pluck in the ball to Anand. He doesn't deliver. Anand was approaching. <laughs> Dead ball signal. So he has to repeat. Here comes Pluck. That's his delivery. Oh! Yeah, bopping short of the man down here. Three quarters of the way to the boundary on the long leg area. We tried a cheeky shot of just rolling it over. Here we go. Pluck. He comes in the ball to the left. Why this delivery? And it's part of. Past the white crease that is there to give the guidance to the umpire. Yeah. So, according to Danny, he has to rebound. And this time, and it's an out first wicket goes. But, yes, but it's an uh, You can be run out from a no ball. You can be run out from a no ball, anyhow. <laughs> yes, you can be run out from a no ball. So the first wicket goes for Guyana. Wide delivery, 48. 48 for one. Down the left side, so it's going to go down to 49. 
goes on to 50. Another wide. Pluck has to settle himself down. Fifty for one. Is it is it fifteen still or ten? ten. All right. Thank you. So we have been told ten now. Originally it was fifteen, but time consumption gonna go to ten. And we are somewhere around what, three o'clock after three? Here goes Pluck. Fun. Coming off the bottom of the bat, bouncing over the stumps to the through to the keeper. The score remains on 50 for one. Pluck has been having an up and down over, up and down. Too many shots, too many wides. He has to settle himself down. Short delivery, forcing the batsman to try to play it into the offside. It was too close to body, and so the score remains on 50 for one. 54 and it is. The guy and his team batting. Yeah. Yeah. It's on. It should be out. I thought the keeper was going for that. Rather than let the bowler. And that's a run handy off of a uppish shot from a short ball. He tucked him up. Score goes on to 51 for one at the end of six. Man and tucks him up. Slowish delivery from Sardine, and uh, it's a good ball. We're into over number seven. 51 for one. From the community center end, Sardine. Short delivery, tucks him up, and they're looking for another run. The way they are running, they might lose wickets by way of doing a good job, the bowlers, because they'll be able to. To cut down on the run rate, you know, at one point in time they were going at almost 10 and over. They were nine. So we are into over number eight, five, six for one. Slash and misses. Big time, big time. And you're going to see a lot of that with the West Indies team. Sorry to say. <laughs> yeah, he comes. Slowish delivery again. And they've gotten two extras because it was wide. Uh, keeper trying to make a run out of it. And the score goes 58. 58 for one in number eight. Peg them back. Very, very good indeed. They were going at least nine points. Now they're down to seven. Still could get a decent score if they settle down properly. Akish allowed this one to go through. Oh, cow. Oh, cow is too much cow in. A lot of cow. Cow means catch me. Cow, you're playing hide and seek. Cow. Down the leg side. He goes around the, off, on, on, around the wicket now. The ball to the left-handed Rakish, again down the leg side, beautifully collected there by Oakland. And uh, at East End will be number two team from Rollins. There's one wide again, and they have made the run, so 60. Very wild indeed. Has not settled on a proper line and length. It's just up and down, down the offside, down the leg side. Goes back over the wicket. And again, a wide. He's going to be bowling a very long over today. Yeah. Up and down, up and down. Down the leg, outside up. The margins are there. He needs to settle down. Again, he tries a slow one. It's wide again. Yes, very long. Here we go. Kiao. Ball to 
a batsman I know no name of. And here we go. Thank you. Uh, coming down. Oh. Yes. It could have gone to both ends, but the keeper didn't go up, and the, and, the, and the bowler should have stayed. You know, either of them going to the stumps could have been a run out either way. So they've had another run. Well, he's bowled him this time. Finally got one on target. So Cow can Cow now, as he has gotten his catch. Cow has gotten his catch, so he can Cow now. Make that sound. Cow. Got you. Clean ball. Rakish, who's been the danger man, was going helter skelter, then was slowed up, and he became a little bit too erratic in trying to push the score again. Nicholas is in your back. Nicholas, the young primary schooler. He has on his cricket boots too, you know. Young Nicholas. Okay, for Empire. For Government World All Stars, okay. Young Nicholas is coming into. He's a left hander. Yeah, so Cow is going to try and finish his over on a good, a good, a good, a good length and line, yeah? Now on the leg side again, Cow. Not focusing at all. The one delivery on target got him a, 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 a dismissal. He needs to ensure that he, he stays focused. Too many wides, leg side and, uh, and offside. Yeah. Playing and missing, young Nicholas. So, let's see how many more balls he has as I, I stop counting. Too many wides. Here comes Cow into ball to the left handed Nicholas. Joy comes off the inner portion of the bat, bounces onto his body, and ricochets back to the keeper. And there is no run. They are under pressure now to pick up extra runs. And to the pad, no, barnet, no leg buys, no LBWs. If he got 20 balls, he missed 18. It's foolish to leave it on to the pads. And there's no LVW. There's no leg buys. He did not play it. He has to go back. It was up here. <laughs> Again. He has not connected a ball cleanly. Since he's gone to the the, 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 the he's gone into the strip to bat. He's gone onto the field, he's in there, and he's been missing and missing and missing like they said old car. This time. He allows it to go through but it's not a wide. The name of the new bowler we're not sure. Nyanje. He's bowling from the... Ball him this time. On target, just like Cow. And picks up his wicket. Bowling from the community centre end. And uh, it, it's time enough because somebody who can make runs need to come in. As he's been missing, if he got 24 balls, he missed 22. <laughs> so now the young lady is gone. Okay. Kalisa playing for the guy and his team. Oh, it plays and misses. It's the end of over number nine. So we find all over to come. 
he started the innings in bombs of bowling. You know, he's going to complete the innings, bowl in the final over for his team. Comes from the hard times then as far as I'm concerned and the balls passed up to the half stump. Left under has allowed it to go through. Left under to left under. It's shot. Comes off the outer portion of the bat and he's hustling. He can get two runs. Good running indeed. Oh, he's a little too slow. But the, the idea was right to hustle for the runs. Uh, he was a little bit too slow in turning to come back. And he was run out by another little man. Yes. Good throw indeed from the third man boundary. Third leg, no, third man boundary to the keeper, who did not even go straight up. He just threw it out of his hand onto the stump. Ball him! Lovely ball indeed. Very quick onto the young man. Came straight onto his pads, onto the stumps. It's another five, wick five wickets gone now. It's another wicket. It's five wickets. They're about 64, 65, 66, somewhere there, for five. You remember them? Uh, there's a prize given away here. The name three of the queens, Kulturama Queens from the Rollins Village area. They have had some six. So a young man is going to try, see if he can win some Kulturama tickets. Here comes the left-hander, Solomon, into bold one another left hand. Good. A lot of left-handers around these days, Curtis. A good sign. One time you had a plethora of right-handers. Now you see a plethora of left-handers. Right. So Solomon is trying to wrap up. He's in the final over. There are some 60, 66, I think it is. On to the pass, there is no LBW, it's the end of the over, and end of the, end of the innings, 10 overs. Ready? Oh, first ball goes past the keeper, and... It's a, a bye. Good ball indeed. He has a mother. Proven it by mother. Here goes Rakish. Down the leg side. Wide again. This is... Three now. Three without loss. Tucks it into the onside there. Salaman and they're getting two. Move to five. So it's five. They've got one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. They seem to be shot uh, in four fielders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Rakish left arm there. Ball to Solomon. Hits it hard and high. Who will it be? Who will take it? No, who's going to get there? Ah, oh, lovely catch by the youngster. Lovely catch by the youngster. Primary school plays for the Government Road All-Stars team. Now playing for the Guyanese team. He's a Guyanese and an excellent judging of the catch there. Magnificent catch indeed. Settled beautifully under it. This would have given an international cricketer trouble to take it. He settled beautifully on it and took it cleanly. Oh, so you're a hero today. Nicholas Hero. 
the, the Heroes Cup was sponsored by him. <laughs> and they've gotten two runs here. Bad throw. Bad. The, the, the bowler was bad, did not collect it. No. I think Rakesh has a right to be angry. Um, the batsman shadowed him. Um, and he's telling him that too. These things happen. So you got another episode of Ben Stokes. <laughs> another episode of Ben Stokes. Yeah. He plays it down in front of him. And there is no run. It's seven for one. Chase is on this partnership, especially Urkel. Let's see, the left-handed Rakish, the ball left-handed, Smitten tucks it into the offside. He's taking his own time. He's known to be a reputable hitter, a stroke player, an attacking batsman. <laughs> Rakish now having some fun with Pluck. Yeah. Outfield is very, very heavy. And so they picked up two runs. It's going to be three. So the score goes on out to ten. Ten for one. Lovely catch taken there by my hero. Nine. Rolls ball him. Just put his head in the air, not concentrating on the ball, and he was bowled neck and crop. <coughs> so nine for two in the over number two. On the leg side, you have to put down, um, break them down, and go along back at. Oh, straight back. Bowler feels that ball played the batsman. It was too quick on him. Bowling some stiff, medium, making up for his batting. This time it comes off of the arm but drops safely into the onside. We're in over number two. We're actually nine for two. And they're looking to get 68. Yeah. Shot. Again, the young man takes it. Oh, he takes it again. Forrester, give the man his credit. Give the man his credit. All two, immaculate catching. Give the man his credit, Elroy. <laughs> Beautiful catch by young hero again. Nine for three. Yes, it's trouble. Boy, a smart one. Abdul. Abdul. Abdul Hamid. Oh, this bowler is making up for the batting that he didn't do. He's picked up two wickets in his over, and it's the end of over number two. It's nine for three, looking to get 65. 65 it is. We resume over number three. And hit it, hit it, hit it. Oh! Ricochets off the other young man's hand and goes into the boundary for six. Yeah. Four runs. So 13 for three. 13 for three.
he settled, he settled, but it. Uh, this one he's trying to cut, and there is no run. 13 for 3, over number 3. Yes, bushwhackers in the bales of trouble here today. And this one, he makes sure capitalize upon it, and that's gone for 6. He sat down beautifully underneath it and dispatched it for six. So that's 19 for three. Gone into the mango trees. We need, we need, we need to get some ball retrievers. Wide, 14 for three. No, it open. It's open, it's open. Two of them gone in that area there. <laughs> Missed. Oakle is under a lot of pressure. Slaps it, brings the man from long off off the boundary. It's an easy single hand. Score goes on to 14. 32. Oh, 10, 10, yeah. 22 it is. 22 for 3. And two caught. We had one bowl. Comes the bowler, if he hits it this time. Oh, deceived her over her head into the boundary for four. 50, 26. She moved in. In comes the ball, into the ball, the left hander. Hits it this time, it goes over the boundary. He is the man who's going to have to take it away. By the way, Frankie, you notice the anxiety in the crowd to catch the balls. There's money in catches. You take a catch, you could make some money. That's, that's good incentive. That's very good incentive. It's 32 for 4. It's it hard and high. Ah, this time, Rakish catches it. Catches it on the second attempt. <laughs> oh boy. So that's my wicked number 4. Coming from the hard times and mango tree and pushed in the upside there is the man himself, Sardine. And the score goes on to Yes. Thirty three for four. Balls to the right and down the left side. Wide signal. That's 34 for four. Over number four. Yeah. 
You're just coming with the remnants? You're just coming with the remnants? That's not nice. <laughs> Tucks it into the onside sardine, into the middle kit area. Nice shot. Nice shot and pull. And he's up there, 36. Yeah. 36 for four. Young hero, in the ball to the right hand, then Abdul. Nice ball, come up with the inner portion of the bat, and they're hustling a single, and looks like they can get two. Whoa, direct hit, and we'd have gone. Sardine hustling home. Uh, 38, 38 for four, we're in over number five. Bushwhackers looking to get 65. Short delivery. And it's bowling. Him. Wow. Missed everything completely. Wow. Wow. Lovely feeling, lovely feeling. These youngsters really doing a good job. We need to send for good aggression. The ball sound like it for two courtes. Maybe an extra layer of tape would help. Lift time, Sandy in left-handed, push it in to the onside. More of a sweep shot, and they've gone on to 40. 40 for four in over number five. Roll there by Hero. Lovely feeling there by the young man. Beautiful. Beautiful feeling indeed. Breaks the stump in the meantime with his return. It goes on to 41 for four. So, new bowler, and uh, we don't have the name, but Abdul is the batsman. The 41 for four in over number six. I think they're chasing some 68 runs for victory. Abdul has decided that that ball wasn't struck over the boundary because it's the bat's fault. But I think it's the batsman's fault. Uh, I don't think he has anything to do with the bat. Well, he could prove me wrong. Let's see what happens with this bat. So Abdul will settle now. The bowler has a pretty long run. So here he goes. Moving in now to bowl. Short outside the half time, gets it off the edge. So he didn't hit it in the middle either. Anand is running as if a bulldozer is pulling him back. And he gets the return in. And they get two very easily indeed. But Anand was struggling just now. He's normally very active, but somehow he looked as if he was struggling badly. Looks tired too. So the crowd building up nicely. So here he goes. Moves in once more to bowl to Abdul. He hits this one nicely down towards long off. And Rakish comes across nicely and gets a return in quickly. So one more to the total. So 44 for the loss of four. And we're in over number seven. Hero waiting for another catch. He has taken two magnificent catches so far. Really a top class fielder he is. 
Annan sending the fielders hither, thither, and yon. Now he pulls in the man. And that's one of the things about this tape ball cricket. The, the, the fielding restrictions are not very strict. You literally can put everybody on the boundary, apparently. Here goes, moves in now to bowl. Sardine is driving, actually chipping and driving. He is the man there, bubbles slightly with it. And uh, prevents the second though, one more to the total. So 45 for the loss of four. So, still within hitting range, but you must realize that the top batsmen for the Bushwhackers are back in the pavilion. So, here he goes once more. The bowler from the shorty end. Mose now to bowl. He's beaten and Anand is trying to stump, but um, the ball fell from his grasp. But the batsman seemed as if he was in his crease anyhow. Every dot will put more pressure on the batting team. Every dot ball. Yeah, let's see. Moves in once more to bowl. Here he goes. Bowls wideish and he's fishing at that. Anand is screaming his appeal. He sent him on his way. Would have gotten just a slight edge. That must have been just a wee edge on that. But Abdul doesn't debate it. He walks away. And it's a good catch by Anand. And so another wicket goes. The Guyanese team totally in charge, I would think, of, at this point of the game. So, young hero it is. We'll be moving in from the health center end. Here he goes. Races in now to bowl to Sardine. Sardine gets a full pitch to leave it. Swings into it. The man comes across, takes a good catch. He has taken a great catch. Sardine swung into it. He hit it hard. But he swung it straight into the man who ran in and took a good catch. Kept his, his eyes on it. And he's gone. Wait a minute, remember, Mr. So another wicket goes for the Bushwhackers. So Hero adding to his two catches. He has now picked up a wicket couple of runs to that he would have been easily the man of the match but he didn't make too many so he's here it is from the health center end moves in now to bowl to Maddy here he goes bowls to Maddy Maddy swings is comprehensively beaten the whales are whipped off Mucky says no well I could tell you Maddy connects it's gonna go far that's his style of batting he's gonna swing and swing hard here it is moves in out to bowl to Maddy Maddy swings into that doesn't time it well hits it down towards the man at mid on looking for a second and they're looking for it now and they're gonna get it too so two more to the total Moves in once more to bowl to Maddy Bowl. Maddy swinging into that. Feel like it's coming across. Rakish is going to jump short. He, they're going back for the second because Rakish didn't handle it well at all. And they get home for the second run. 52. So Maddy swinging and swinging hard. Hero looks a little flustered. We're prepared to bowl once more. Lots of encouragement as he races in now to bowl to Maddy. Full pitch delivery, bold! Yorker length delivery. Maddy swung right around it and is clean bowled. Hero picks up another wicket. He still could be the man of the match, you know. Two great catches, two wickets now. And this game is certainly nicely poised, but more in the favor of the Guyanese team. Definitely, this time the stumps were hit and the bales were broken. He had a clean ball earlier, but the stumps remain, the bales remain. This time they were broken. So what or can the Guyanese smooth sailing across the river take it home?
Heavy set leg side field. Hero is making himself the hero today. Runs away, beautiful running action, a nice arm action down the leg side. It's out wide, and they're looking to get one. But Or can they take the wickets? 55. Seven. Fifty-six for seven. Comes the left-handed Akish onto the pads, tucks it off the pad there. The young, powerful batsman, and there is no run. Remember, no leg bites have been, and no LBWs have been had. They are not a part of the, the game. Rules state: no leg bites, no LBWs. Shot is still if we have that. That was the cry. <laughs> Nanan thinks he has him. <laughs> um, yeah, the umpire is unmoved. <laughs> what we can see from here is just the excitement of the game. The batsman's foot was well anchored. But Nanan was so excited that he ran all the way down to Rakish. Here comes left handed Rakish. He both tucks it under the pad this time. Well, it will be this time. Is it bat or pad? Okay, so that comes off of the pad. So, 58. 58 for 7. In over number 8. The comes off of the outer portion of the bat. Uh, here they go. Will they go for 2? Uh, it's out. My goodness. He was anchored. And he, he turned off at the same time when his partner was coming in. Had he stayed his ground, he would have been there. But <laughs> he has to be the one to go. He has to be the one to go. One. So the eighth wicket has gone down. The big man, the big man is supposed to go. Yeah. He, he, yeah, but he just left his box and the other guy hadn't come down yet. They had not crossed. No. No. The big man got to come. He was in his box, you know. He was in his box and last minute turned off. But then the ball was in. So the other end too. Yes. Oh, right up. Right up, right up. Running away. Helter Skelter. Oh! Almost broke the stumps. Ranjin Anan, Anan. <laughs> Ball him! Water was to no avail. And then, and then he was out originally, but he was given the preference of staying, and now he's gone clean bowl. Huh? <laughs>
It was to no avail. <laughs> Almost. Almost. Anan trying to get this final wicket. On to the pads. No one had. Tanti mal in the oval. <laughs> right, Slim's dancing and <laughs> Tanti strips in. <laughs> Here goes Anan. Down the leg side, wide delivery. Yes, here we go. Nice play, is it beautiful? And here is run out. And it's the end of the game. It's the end of the game. <laughs> oh, celebrations by the sister of the young man. Joyful, happy, elated. Those are the words to describe the winning team here. They worked hard, short of men, but they pulled off the victory. Guyana has taken the first game. In this knockout competition here, in the Mother's Day hard times, yes, Aki celebrates. Yes, <laughs> we got them. Boundary. So long off, long on. Deep mid wicket, deep square. Man a straight mid wicket. The keeper, of the bowler, we've got a straight cover and a long on, long off. At the field, there, yeah. three men shot. There's eight. In goes. William. And this time he's bowled him. <laughs> he's bowled him. So Marshall goes. First wicket goes for East End. It is five for one in over number one. That's the situation going on. The crowd is getting into the game. Small, colorful, but very rowdy. Into the game. Very elated. Very excited. And here goes another batsman down, number two. Um, not sure name of that batsman, but we'll get it. There's going to be a change in the field. Looks like a left-hander. Right hander, but he seemed to be a reputable player. They're putting an extra player in the offside field left hander. So straight mid wicket, deep square, long on. We've got a long off. Man square cover, straight. Extra cover. That's the field placing. Man at backward point. Sorry, it's a 3 3. Field. There it goes. Charles Williams. Short delivery pulls it beautifully into the fence. A maximum of six. So the score goes on to 11, the end of the over. 11 for one. And. <laughs> former Leeward Islands youth, former division left arm spinner, he will be keeping Curtis Morton, if that's it, gonna be bowling now, young, young Wilkes.
Young Wilkes is going to be bowling. Yeah. I think it's Wilkes, yes. He comes in now to bowl to the right-handed batsman. He flashes and misses. Ball goes through uh, the keeper hand, but they've gotten a single, a bye. And the score rolls on to seven. No, six and five, 11, 12. 12. Here's Wilkes, comes into ball to the left-hander. Right at delivery, down the leg side, wide signal. Wides are counted. Leg by is no. LBW no. It's onto the back foot, plays it easily into the offside. And the fielder, ball fields to his own bowling. There he goes. Shot. That beats the field the fielder who tried to effect the save. That's a bowl himself. And they are going for two. <laughs> Very slow to get to the ball. Very slow reaction from the other fielders. So the score. Fourteen runs now. Over number two. Yeah, we're gonna Comes in the ball, turns it down the leg side, so wide, misses it. Extras may well be the top scorer in this game, it all depends. And again, down the leg side, the appears the batsman is moving on the inside, recognizing that the bowler is drifting down the leg side. Okay. The right armor. Into ball to the right and then batsman. And he hits it hard, high, and handsome. Beating the fielder out there into the boundary for four. Uh, plays it down in the offside and the field of balls. It's the end of over number two. Mm -hmm. So the third over is going to be bowled by Lion Skin, Natama. Sixteen it is between the umpire and the stumps. That the delivery plays it easily into the offside. Bola feels his own bowling. Into the mid-wicket boundary, it goes 20 for two, over number three. So we're here with a knockout competition, and it's four teams. Guyana beating the Bushwhackers, bowling them out. 
We did him by, by five runs. And this is again tucked into the onside. So it's 21 for two in over number three. It's now 13. Uh, 31 in the over number three. Left armor. He goes in. Nine skin shot delivery. Pulls and misses. Goes down the leg side. He's running away. There will be going for two. And will they? Oh, ball was missed by Morton there. <laughs> Should have been a run out. Unfortunately, that was for Esther. Sorry. Sorry, Mr. Morton. <laughs> that should have been a clean run out. Now, 33. 33 for two. Ran over number three. Yeah, he goes. Short delivery. Pulls it. Oh! Into the hands and out. Goes for six. AJ not holding on and you can see the captain is not happy with what's going on with his fielders so that is 39 for two in over number three left arm short Pulls it, brings straight mid wicket in for Esther, who feels well. And the score goes on to 40. 40 for two at the end of three overs. We've got L.Y. Kelly, normally right arm spinner, pushes through as the drifter. He is coming from the main end. Shot goes down to skin, and Lion Skin takes it easily. He's a reputable fielder. First, full ball, bad balls get wickets. <laughs> and oh, the third wicket goes down for East Ends. What is going to happen here? Will they make a comeback? It is over number four. And they've already lost three wickets. And the score is 41, I think. They've been scoring, but they've been losing wickets. Over number four, Eloy Kelly, still going around the wicket, is he? Backward square, deep mid wicket, straight mid wicket, long on, long off, square cover. That's the field. Eloy Kelly, 
police delivery down the leg side, and the score goes on to 43. Part of it is foolish delivery on, oh, he plays and misses, he can't be anyone, no leg buys, no LBWs. So the batsman, lucky one way, the field, lucky the other way. Here goes Kelly, flat his delivery, and he plays and misses, this one comes with the arm, come through to the keeper. Batsman needs to watch the ball properly. It's L.Y. Kelly coming into ball to the right-handed batsman. Floated delivery. And he misses. My goodness. His foot was anchored, but the keeper did not collect cleanly. Looks like a five-field that's batting there. And Morton using some pressure here. How's that? That's the cry. And he's been given out. He's been given out. Morton put himself in front to make the batsman not drive and try to pull across the line and came off the inner portion of the bat straight through to the keeper. And so another wicket goes. Party for three. Another left-hander comes in. Here is an exchange in the field. Uh, backward point comes in. Close to the umpire. Straight cover, a man at long on, deep square, deep mid wicket, man on the long on boundary. That's a field for Kelly to the new batsman. Oh, the keeper missing this one, and oh, missing twice. Did not collect cleanly, tried to effect a run out, and that was not effective either. His throw was off target. So, it's 41 at the end of over number four. Party one for three in over number four. Over number five coming up, it looks like he's going to be bowled by Captain Morton. Long on, deep mid wicket. Man, back out of square shot. Change again in the field. Mid wicket goes straight mid wicket now. Morton. He'll be bowling to the left handed batsman. Bowling from the community centre end. Delivery. He plays it into the onside. There, yeah. two bounces to the fielder who bubbles it and looking for two. But well, that was very indecisive. They didn't run the first one past, mm -hmm. and so it made it easy for the fielder to get the ball back in quickly. Now, the adjustments have been made. Deep mid wicket. Deep square, long on, backward point, straight cover, and long off. Oh, plays it. It comes off of somewhere of the batsman. And they're looking to get two. Will they get it? Yes, they've gotten two easily. And so that's two more runs. 43 it is. 
44 for four. 44 for three in over number five. Plays it back to the bowler. There's no run. The ball that he could have waited on a little longer and played squarer. But he played too early. And ended up playing it back to the bowler. This time comes off of the outer portion. Fielder feels there. Uh, that shot third. And there is no run. 44 for three. Morton. Old. He could have affected that white chapel. Didn't. He warns the batsman. Morton. Morton with the flattest delivery. Hits it hard and high. He breaks the gap and breaks the team uh, between midwicket and Lavon and goes into the boundary for four. All right. The bowler has brought the long on a little wider. More in the line where that ball would have dropped. And the, well, the long on was very straight indeed. Yeah, he's, he hits it hard and high. And this time it goes for six. Goes for six. So the score goes on to 54. 54 for three at the end of over number five. It's going to be over number six, ball by L.Y. Kelly. Bowling to the left-hander. There's a deep mid-wicket. A man forward of square. That it go. And uh, the keeper was a little slow, getting the ball back in. He was beating all ends up. Nice floated delivery. He bowls the drifters a lot. Yeah. And... Uh, We've got a man at backward point, very square, extra cover, three quarts away to the boundary and the long off on the boundary edge. Long on on the boundary edge. Yeah. Here we go. Crowd is building nicely, lovely colors. Oh, it's a wide delivery. Score goes on to 55. 55 for three. Here goes Kelly. Slaps this straight. And it goes into the boundary. And we're waiting on the signal. It is four runs. It dropped inside. All right. Here you go. 59 it is. Hits it hard and high over the infield in the offside this time. And here they go. They're running two quick runs. And score goes on to 61. Sixty-three it is for three. In over number That's five, six, over number six. <laughs> yeah, he does. There's it into the onside, finds the man at the long on boundary, and that single has been had. Goes, goes on to 64. It is for three. It's East End's batting. Having won the toss, and they're playing against Jets. Good afternoon, kid. Take a drink. Wouldn't mind. How do you like the game? Yeah, it's going pretty good. 
I'm back in the losers though. <laughs> I like that. Again, he plays and misses. The wicketkeeper does not collect cleanly, and there is no run. Here we go. Over number six. Short delivery pulls it. And oh, the bowler made an attempt to get there. <laughs> Gesticulating. Gesticulating. That he should have gotten there. But it was just too short of him. And it's the end of the over. Over number six. Morton is going to continue and it is going to be over number seven. We're playing ten overs per team. It is, I think it's 65 for three. Um, making some adjustments to his field, ensuring that he has the fielders in the right position. Uh, he's going to have to cover on the inside. In goes Morton, flight and delivery, and to the left hand uh, straight. Oh my goodness! The fielder lost it. It would have taken young hero to show him how to take a catch. The fielder lost it, and it all went straight and dropped on his leg. A single has been had. The score goes on. Six to six. Spectators say he could have put that in his pocket. Allow his pocket to take it. <laughs> his son was his problem. He never shielded it, it, himself from the sun. And he has on a cap. There's another run, two runs, beautifully taken. And Hey, I know Tyro Ty is here, but I get final for play, you know? What I'm saying, I come Tyro Ty is here. Play it straight back. 68 for 3 brings up the 69th run. And we're in over number seven. 69 over number seven. Jets are limiting the run scoring of the Eastern's team. Right in delivery. It's time he plays it nicely into the onside, around to long leg area. And he's looking for two, but his partner was not interested. Score goes on to 70. 70 for three. Seven overs gone. What will happen from here? The right hander seems to be more aggressive of them. Oh, beautiful shot indeed. He plays the swipe, picks up two runs, and the score goes on to 72. It's the end of over number seven. 72 it is for three. So three more to go.
Now we have got Morton. Uh, who will it be? Who will it be? Oh, again, miscued, not judged rightly. He was sent to his right. The ball was played to his left. And so he ended up just getting one run. But I think the ball needs a next court in. It is too light. Needs a next court in. Fielder couldn't see that at all. It's overcast. And if there's lights, they need to put it on. <laughs> it's overcast heavily. Yeah. So it's about 65 it is at the end of seven for three. Over number eight coming up. Beautifully struck. And gone for six. Maximum. Left hander is now getting into his groove. Ball on his pads and he dispatched it beautifully into the deep middle kit area for six. Wilkes it is. Comes in Wilson to the ball to the left hander and he pulls it hard into the onside, brings the man from long on around, he collects it and uh, there's one run. Now it's 84 for three it appears. We're in over number eight. A hundred could be made in these ten overs. They have picked up the momentum in the last couple of hours after being pegged back with early wickets, uh, having a good start. Now Wilkes is going to be bowling to the right-handed batsman. Comes from the road end. That's the main road end, hard times, uh, Rollins road end. And they have run two beautiful runs, beautiful running indeed. And the score goes on to 86. Here yeah, comes Wilkes in the ball and pulls and misses, but it runs away to the boundary. It's going to be wide, and they have gotten two. Oh, he dived in, and there's a not out signal from the umpire. What a beautiful effort by the batsman. He really dived in, saved himself. So three extra runs. They were fixing the stumps, the wicket was broken, but the batsman was home safe. He's then looking to build a decent total now, capitalizing on the last couple of overs here. Here comes Wilkes into ball to the right hander. He hits it hard and high, and it goes, as they would say, handsomely into the garden over there. It's six runs, and the score goes on to 90. <laughs> 90 or 92, we're in over number eight. He goes again, this one keeps a little low. And yes. Not called wide, but it was low. He went at it again to give it another hoik. Then straight back over. Short, pits it hard and high. Lionskin is gonna get there No, He drops short of him, two, three bounces. He does not collect cleanly, but 
effectively fielded and they have picked up two more runs. End of over number eight, is it? Not yet. Looks like it's going to be a field change. Morton comes over into the offside. 95 it is, I think. A three. Left under on this side, so extra man has been brought into the onside. Mm -hmm. The little children out there trying to retrieve that ball out of the garden. Here they come. Oh, slower ball, drives and misses. It's the end of the over, number eight. Should be 95. We got 95? 95? Yeah, 95. Yep, going into over number nine. If they do have lights, it's time for the lights. It's over number nine. And Easterns are batting. It's 95. It is for three. Long on. Deep mid wicket. Deep square. There goes bowler into. Williams hopped it beautifully back into the onside. Brings the man from Long On off the boundary. Uh, just one run had the score goes on to 96. And uh, the left hander will now be facing. So there's an adjustment into the field. And so we have got a 3 3 situation. Jets have only got eight players, unfortunately. Some of their senior players got caught up in other things, unable to make it. Here he goes and hits him hard and high, but it drops short. One bounce to the man on long on, and uh, one run had scored on to 97. The outfield is a bit sluggish from a lot of heavy rain we have had in the last couple of days. And then you have the track that is marked out, so there are going to be some bumps and stops. Yeah. It is Williams. In the ninth over, he'll bowl into the right-handed batsman. Easton's batting. Ball kept a little low. And there are some buys. Good thinking there by the left-hander, number 10, who ran down quickly. And... 98 it is for three in over number nine. So it's going to be an uphill task for the Jets. They're going to have to go at 10 plus. With one more over to go, they're going to have to go at 10 plus. I'm sure. Hits it hard, high, and it's beautifully taken. The left hander, the main run getter, is gone. Dismissed by Williams. Beautifully caught there by Morton. 
Judy Morton and it looked like the man Atta. A cricketer in his day has gone there to see if he can still be that evergreen. <laughs> it is 98, it is for four now. A new batsman will have to face. He's using the regular ICC rules. Even if you cross, you still have to ensure you go back to your end and your batter has to face. And so it is, what, 98, I think? It is for four? Right, ninth over. Williams goes away from us. He doesn't deliver. Dead ball signaled by the umpire. Williams. Well built young man. Runs away to bowl to Atta. He plays it down in front of him. He looks for the single. <laughs> it's dark. It's overcast. And he's batting in shades. My goodness. What a scenario. <laughs> nice colorful crowd here. <laughs> I think there's needs for the lights. I don't know if they are working. But there's a need for them for sure. As the finals can't be played without the lights. And Jets has to bat first in their second game. This is the second game, the second knockout competition. Hits it flat, hard, nice stop there by the young female fielder. And they have limited them to a single. The score should be on 99. It's the end of the ninth over. For the final over to come. The bowler seemed to be blown. <laughs> he is very tired after bowling just two overs. The female player on this team is going to be bowling the final over. Took a wonderful catch. Effected beautiful savings in the field. And now she's going to wrap it up for the Jets team. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no LBWs in it. LG, they've been gone. No LBWs, no leg buys. That was straight on his legs. Over number 10. Oh, it's a wide signal now. She comes again. She has to be bold at one. This one. Pulls it into the onside and picked up a single. So 101 it is for four. Let's see what Fisherman Atta will do. Batting in shades in an clouded situation. Pulls it into the onside. He gets off the mark. This time a, single, a second run for him. He has a, a, a leg problem, so he can't run as fast, so they should look for that and try to effect a run out against him. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, the crowd just catching that he's batting in shades. It's overcast and he's batting in shades. My goodness. Uh, swipes and misses. Yeah, and the score remains on 102. 102 it is. For four. Final over to be bold. He's going down the leg side. 103 it is. Rain over number 10. 103 it is. Naps it into the onside. Brings the man from deep square. Around. Picks up one run. So it's 104. It's a packed onside field. And we're in over number 10. 105 for four. Long on. Straight mid wicket. Deep mid wicket. Deep backward square. In comes the bowler Morton. And down the leg side. Beats the batsman. Beats the keeper. So an extra two runs there now. Wide. And they ran one. So that's 107 it is for four. 107. Here we go. Flashes it into the offside. Brings the man from long off around. It beats him into the boundary. And it's the end of the 10th over. 109 it is at the end of 10 overs. Subject to correction, but we'll get that update for you. Hundred and eleven after ten. So Jets will have to get a hundred and twelve. Milano into ball to Morton, Morton tucks it into the onside, runs immediately, picks up a single. They're going to look for any and anything because they've got to go at a 10 point. 10 overs, it's 112 they've got to make. So, besides boundaries, they're going to have to run anything that comes their way that can be scored. <laughs> Drops it into the onside, straight to the man at deep mid wicket, and they've gotten a second one. So two, and it's a no ball. It's a no ball. So it's gonna be. So it's gonna be a free hit. Score has not acknowledged, but. So that's three. <laughs> Here goes. And he pulls it into the onside. Finds the man down at the deep mid wicket boundary. Oh, almost going into the boundary. He uses his pads, his feet, I must say, to <laughs> stop the ball. And they have run two runs. So the score goes on to what? Five? In the first over. 
Yes, the bowler. Runs away into ball to Morton. Does not deliver. That ball signal. We have got a field of a third man wide, square, cover, short, extra cover, deep, extra cover. That's that's the deep extra cover. And he pulls it beautifully. And jumps one bounce to the man down deep mid wicket. And that's one run had. <laughs> Score goes on to six. Same field remains. Square cover, deep extra cover. Long off, straight cover. Long on, straight mid wicket, deep mid wicket, deep square. That's the field placing. He goes right, and pulls it beautifully into the onside, and it's four runs. So the score now goes on to 11. Young man having a problem with settling on a length. Goes into ball to Carl. And plays and misses. Lovely delivery this time. Gets an applause from his his his, his fielders. <laughs> now this Morton is warming up, stretching his shoulders, preparing for the big heave ho. Williams receives now from the young bowler and this is down the leg side and again score goes on to 13 The wicked keeper who batted in shades is feeling in shades. <laughs> oh. All right. Played back to the ball. It's the end of the over number one. It's 13 without loss. All nice delivery there. Carl swiping and missing. Number 10 bowling well. Over number 2. 13 without loss. Chet's looking to get 112. Here he comes. From the main and ball him. Right on target. Carl is just swiping, did not keep his eye on the ball. 
And so the first wicket goes for Jets. 13 for 1 in over number 2. He goes the bowler, hits it hard and high. Wilkes goes into the boundary for four. 17, 17 for one. Okay, that's the famous, famous Ken Ken. It's it straight back. Bring the, brings the man from the long half boundary. And there's trouble there. Oh, he got back in. Got back in. Looking to get the second run. But wisely so. He was sent back. 17. It's now 18 for one. Over number two. Yeah. <laughs> The crowd is getting bigger and bigger. All the fans are here. Ken Ken into ball to Morton. Comes in balls to Curtis Morton. Morton trying to do the reverse. But there is no umpires to give the LBWs. No LBWs, no leg buys. All right. Trying the reverse. Missed it completely. The rules are no LBWs, no leg buys. So Morton got away scot free with that one. But he's an improviser. He's a thinker. What will happen? Here comes Ken Ken into bowl to Morton. Morton hitting it hard and high. Will he find the fielder? Yes, it's taken beautifully out there. Second wicket goes for Jets. They're in a spot of butter now, looking to get 112. They are 17 for two, in over number two. Who's that now? Wilkes. Later down, got a finals to play. Will it be played? And, ah, one keeping low, swiping and missing there was Wilkes. <laughs> yeah, goes smitten into ball to lion skin. Oh, and this time he misses down the leg side. Again, score goes on to 18. And <laughs> the good keeper seemed to be putting in his diving skills out there. <laughs> He's blowing off his shades, perhaps saying they need cleaning. Here goes Smith into ball to lion skin. And pulls and misses. Lovely bowler straight over the batsman. Lovely ball there. Bounced beautifully. Not too high, just gentle. Here goes Smitten. Into ball to Lion Skin. Ah, oh, plays it off the pads. And almost there. Yeah. Clean strike, he would have been a goner. So 19 for two. Jets trying to get 112. We're over number three. Oh, a 
has to be a wide 20 for two over number three. So he's changing his mode of delivery. I'm gonna go over the wicket. Don't understand why he was bowling around the wicket though. He goes in, smitten, into bowl to Wilkes. And he hits it hard and high. Fielder settles under, he takes a beautiful catch indeed. He celebrates by lying and praying. <laughs> Wilkes is gone, his third wicket down for Jets. They are in the mire now. It's only 10 overs available here. Into three, and three wickets are down, and they are 21 for two, for three. Here we go. Smitten. Picked up his first wicket. Lovely catch indeed there by the man at long off. We ran around beautifully. As AJ is receiving from Smith. Runs away from us. Passes umpire Tini. Does not deliver. Dead ball signal by umpire Tini. Here goes Smitten. Ball to AJ. It's a wide delivery. Goes to 22. 22 for 3. He needs to come. Smitten. His fielders are pointing out to him what he should do. On to the stumps. Beats the, bat the batsman. And it's the end of the over. Over number 3. Shot into the outside, brings the man along off around and they've just settled for one. Score goes on to what? 24 for three. 23. Been corrected. The bowler comes in from, I call it the hard times main end. And he's slashing and missing and he's running away to the boundary. Good attempt there. Yeah. Well done there. Yeah. Five five field. Pulled it back beautifully. And so they've got a two plus one. The close goes on to twenty seven. Twenty seven for three. The wicket keeper. Seemed to be just as tired as the player who just ran for the ball. <laughs> It's it hard and high. Oh, he drops it. He went forward, he went back, came back forward, and only succeeded in putting it on the ground. He slams the ground there. But 25. 25 for three. The crowd said their dead mother would have taken that catch. <laughs> the descriptions that you have coming out of the crowd who seem to be educators when it comes to the game. It's one he played and missed. Yeah. Jets trying to get 112. They are 27 for three in over number four. Bowler comes in now to bowl to Lanskin. Lanskin flashing and missing. So, the more dot balls, the more pressure, the higher the run rate goes. They brought in a slip now. <laughs> Here comes the bowler away from that end I call and he missed it completely and it missed. The keeper again by field runs it down and they have had one 
and it's a buy, so that's two. And the end of over number four, score goes on to what, 26? If I feel Bryce will be bowling to Lion Skin, Hamilton. There's it. A nice field in there by the bowler to his own bowling. Ball played straight back down the strip. Score the wins on what, 20? If I feel. And he comes down. Beautifully played there by Hamilton. Saw him, he dropped it short, but Hamilton was the better of him, pulled it into the onside. Deep mid wicket came around, but only a single been had. Here they go. 29, I think it is. And he pulls it hard into the gap. Four runs. Well done, AJ boy. <laughs> He gets the applaud from the teammates and the crowd. Much needed boundary. Be 32 it is. There you go. The keeper again. Gets rid of his shades to see the ball. Around the wicket, and he pulls it beautifully into the onside, brings the man from long on up the boundary, picks up cleanly. Single has been had, and the sco score is on to 30. Over number five, we are in. Five field around the wicket, the ball to MJ. MJ pulls it beautifully. Finds the man coming off the deep mid wicket boundary. A single has been had. The score goes on to what? 32. It is for three. But he's trying to make the effort, taking the chances, trying to follow the script to go for the runs. Yeah. End of over number. So it's the other one, Rajon Fifield, bowling from, and this one is down the leg side, they're running one, so two runs, that's two, so now we got three added to the score. Twenty-nine. I make that thirty, but they said twenty-nine for three. They said hard and high. The man again. Ball is following him. Same thing. Straight into the hands. Straight on the carpet. Well, well, well. He, he's fixing his clothes. The crowd says he's had on too much clothes. <laughs> well, well, well. Well, well, well. Here he goes. Uh, someone says he has one eye. So that means it went on the blind side. <laughs> Score goes on to 30. 30 is for three. Over number six. <laughs> oh, my. Here comes Rajan. Into ball to MJ. MJ pulls it. It's time, finds the man at the deep mid-wicket boundary, and uh, one run. So that's it's a one-run score. Yeah, one-run score. Yeah, there you go. It is Rajan into ball to Hamilton. Hamilton pulling. They catch the outer portion of the bat. Will they get the two runs? No. Ball comes off of the arm, the, 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 the wrist mainly. So there was no power in the shot. Didn't go much place. place. And they just had to run and settle. 
for the one. About 30. It's about 35 for two. Six. Over. Short, wide. 37. 37. Time it will be Easterns coming up against Guyana in the finals. Overs may well be reduced beautifully played this time. Uh, and it gone into the boundary. Put one hand into the hand and then we ricocheted into Well, well, well. That's the cry. Anything to those in the widest long on and the deep mid wicket. One, two. I uh, don't expect any catches to be taken. Another one. For three. There's it into the offside easily. One to a single. Field cleanly. It's end of the over. Over number six. Lion skin Hamilton. Hamilton pulls it into the inside. The Sterling Marshall sticks out a foot, a football way. It ricochets up onto his hand. They have a single hat. Doing some shoulder shrugs. Ah, short delivery. Hamilton interested in the single. But MJ. There was more in the shot. This is AJ. MJ is a small one. AJ. And that's supposed to be a wide, the 53 days. Wharton. There we go. Oh, no LBWs, he plays and misses, AJ comes off the pad. There is no one had. we over number seven. At this rate, Jets has an uphill task. You've got to take at least two big overs to bring yourself back. Hits it into the onside, brings high field. That's smitten. And there is one run had. One run hard. Yeah, we go. It's it sky high. There's no one in the area. And it's running away to the boundary. It goes into the boundary now. And he stands, my goodness. He falls over into the gut. Gets up again. Comes back and picks up the ball. And there is two runs. That's well, well, well. Comical fielding. Somersaulting, sliding, rolling into the gut to retrieve the ball. The East Ends yeah, have some fantastic actors here. It's time, even though they're in control of the game, they have given you a lot of, to enjoy. Another one. Fifty nine. 59 with over number eight. Marshall. And he hits it hard and high, but no one will get there. He runs for hustles a single, looking for the second one. And five field fields in this area. And so <laughs> again as I said, the classic continues. <laughs> Ball is hit onto the stump by the, the batsman and the, the, the fielder is appealing <laughs> after a run. And Lionskin looking to get down the wicket, misses it completely. No signal from the umpire. Marshall, bowling number eight. Score is 59. And this time he hits it over the inner field, brings the man Hendrickson. Off of the mid-wicket boundary, 
<laughs> they've had one they should be going on to 60 i think here comes marshall into ball to mj aj and here he goes another single picked up beautifully there and Nine. <laughs> Ball him. So the fourth wicket goes down. And the score is at 60 plus. <laughs> 60 to 4 4 in open number nine. Jets with an uphill task, trying to get 112. Bowler goes away the ball to Morton. J lays it. And he's out. Clean ball, faster delivery. Went straight onto the off stump. Broke the wicket. And over number nine. Sees another wicket falling. And uh, it is number wicket number five. Yeah, it's Wharton who picked up that wicket and then trying to get another one. He's bowling the ninth over for his team of East Ends. And the score remains on 60 plus for four or five. Five. 62 for five. Down the leg side, wide. Okay, diving skills from the seaman comes into play, brings the crowd alive. 63, it is down the leg side again this time. He doesn't dive, misses it though. And they're trying to effect a run out. Final over to be bowled. About 65 it is. There were eight men and then there's a man shot to bat. Uh, around the wicket. Slow delivery. This is a wide. He's looking to follow it. <laughs> Who is the name of this bowler? <laughs> oh, it's balled him. Wicket is not broken. Ball came off the bat onto the stumps, but the wicket is not broken. Time pulls it into the outside, Hamilton. Two, two guys, two. Yes. Those guys are getting tired. They've been running all afternoon. <laughs> now EJ is going to be facing. Pulls it beautifully. Oh my goodness. Slides in the interim. He stops to pick up his bat. But he gets home safe nonetheless. 66 for 5. Final over. Goes on to 67. The keeper trying a thing. He's finally gotten rid of the shades. 
Yeah, we go. <laughs> Can't collect the wicket keeper. <laughs> Difficulty in bending, bell bending. <laughs> and he he's passing with the guys. <laughs> And here comes the final delivery. A's <laughs> and misses. Flighted. And a whoosh at it, as they would say. Bowl him. A wild swipe. Eastern's looking to come back here, having just won a game. With their tails on their back. The left hander. <laughs> he has been escorted off. He has been the main destructor for the first innings. Himself and Anan. Anan replaces him now. <laughs> and Wharton. Wharton. Guyana versus Guyana. <laughs> well, well, well. The field. Short third. Square cover. Straight. Extra cover. A man that deep cover, man on long off, long on, straight mid wicket, deep square, deep mid wicket, drives it, bowler, stops to his own, lovely shot indeed. Here comes Ken Ken, short, and he pulls it, hits it hard, hits powerfully, and straight. Over into the garden again. Into the garden again. Excellent shot. So it's 10 for one. Ken Ken comes in to bowl to Anand. Shot again and then cut square into the boundary by sex the field only to run and retrieve is the fielder. Yes. Yes. Score goes on to 14. No nonsense batsman is Anand himself and Rakish. Delivered them early in the first game. Rakish went early this time. First ball to Marshall. Bowled neck and crop. Here comes Ken Ken into ball to Anand. Shot again. And this time he pulls. It comes off of the arm. It's a no ball. And so you will have a free hit. I think he hit him in his head. Okay. It's a big no ball. And we will get a free hit. Anand would love that. He knows he cannot be out from the free hit unless it's a run out. Here comes Ken Ken. Looking to take. Oh, slow delivery. Beautiful. Beautiful delivery. He really took the energy out of Anand with that one. Experience of Ken Ken against the experience of Anand. Yeah. Then comes Ken Ken into bowl. Anand plays, plays it, and is out. Run out. Now. Yeah. But that wasn't the free hit ball? No. No. Okay. And the second. Oh, we missed it, yeah. Good day, sir. How are you doing? And then goes by the run out route again. The first innings, now the second innings. Well, Guyana going to have to really take it up. They're on 14 for two now. Uh, 
It's pretty, pretty overcast. Here comes Ken Ken. Shot! Snapped it into the offside. Brings the man off the cover boundary. Hendrickson collects cleanly for once. <laughs> Trying to effect a run out, but that was not to be. It's the end of over number two. Yeah, it's number two. Spitting. Smitten from the community center end. In the ball. It's down the leg side. And they've gone for. And they're getting two here. Plus a wide. So that's three. 17 it is for two. 17 it is for two. Crowd is very boisterous. Small but powerful. And very colorful indeed. Let's go. Mm. Asking for one side from his bowler. And oh, he beats him. Beautiful delivery. Batsman backing off to try and cut it, but was beaten comprehensively. Uh, 16 for two. Over number three. There we go. Good ball indeed. Nice bouncer. Batsman backing away the ball up towards the keeper. Over number three. What next? Shot, hits it in the air. Hendrickson won't be able to get to it. He's calling on the other fielder to come to the ball. <laughs> and that was his ball. It was his ball to be fielded. <laughs> yeah. The run has been taken. Looks good. Here goes Fivefield. That's not smitten. Uh, did a good delivery. But he only ended up in getting it off the outer edge into the onside. Doesn't deliver. That ball signal. They're going to have to utilize their time wisely of the light that is left. Here it goes. Cross delivery. Comes on to the party. Hits the leg. Drops on to the strip. Now run. Ball in a very good over indeed. Yes, it is. It is. And there are slower deliveries. Here it goes Mitten. Down the leg side. Score goes on to 19. Out of delivery. Here goes Smitten. In the ball to the. Slaps and misses. It's the end of the over. It's 20 for two at the end of number three. So who's the bowler now? Rajan Fifield. <laughs> Bowling from the mango tree end. Here comes Rajan into bowl to the right handed batsman. <laughs> He was ha ah, deceived. Shortest delivery tried to dab it into the offside, 
He took an outside edge and went straight through to the keeper. Good thing they changed the keeper. <laughs> and so the third wicket goes in over number four. 20 for three. Balls to the new batter turns now. Come in passes. Umpire Mucky delivers. He hits it. Beautiful shot. Brings the man from the, the extra cover boundary. That should have been two runs. Beautiful shot indeed. Uh, the score goes on to 24. Yep. Yep. Yeah, come. Not onto the back foot. Cuts it beautifully. They should be able to take two runs. Yeah. Yeah. He has a strong arm, but very slow to get to the ball. So two. How they get two this or 27 because the fielder was sharper. I feel in to bowl to the batsman in blue. Oh, almost trained him. It's a wide delivery though. So the score goes on to 28. 24. Wow, I am way ahead. They said 24 for three, here comes. It's a wide delivery though. Okay. Another one, so 25 this time. Okay. Gotta get it closer. Get a little bit of light from the oh I delivery again. That's 25 for, for three. <laughs> wow. In comes my feeling to bowl to the batsman. Oh, it glides it beautifully past the keeper. Picks up a run easily, he goes under 25. Twenty-five for three. Here he comes. I feel from the mango tree end. Looking to hit it over the top. Missed it completely. Ball goes through to the keeper. And it's the end of over number four. 25 it is for three. The final over coming up. Let's see what the Guyana team will make of it. What will he do? And this was on the pad. Comes off the inner portion. Looking to sweep. Wicket keeper collected beautifully. Plays back, the new batsman picked, moved off the mark right away. And the score goes on to 26 for four. Here goes Wharton, slapped beautifully there by the batsman. But finds the man coming off of the widish long on boundary. You got a straight long on and a widish long on. Here he goes. And this one is bold him. Beautiful delivery. The light is a bother, Curtis. That was a floated delivery. And he missed it completely. The light is a bother. The 
little left hander has gone out. Hero. hero. The man who was the hero of the first game. Yep. Got wickets, took catches and made a few runs. And he swings this time and goes on to about 28, is it? 28 for 5. Watton trying to hustle through it. Slapped beautifully by the young man. Goes away to the boundary. Out, out, the outfield is pretty heavy. They're looking to get three runs. Yes, they get three. Will they get four? <laughs> Everybody slipping and sliding. They've gotten three. One shot. One shot. Shot, shot, into the boundary it comes. Lovely, lovely. Nice end to the fifth over. That's the end of it for the Guyanese. Yeah. Oh. 36 for five. First innings as well. It's right up and it's bowled again. Same, same ball. Same, same ball. <laughs> a golden duck again. But Marshall lost his bat in the eventuality. Trying to play it over. But the light is not as good. And so as long as you bowl wicket to wicket, you will be in good stead. So one without loss. Jet started the same way. Eastern started. Oh my God! It's find the hole. Yeah. Custom to that. Slide. <laughs> Wilkes guided him. Slide. Wilkes was a long jumper. This time, hit it. No one will get it. It drops short. And they're looking. These Guyanese are collecting the delivery. Here comes Rakish again. This time it's one for one. It's right up. Looking to slap it. But that was not to be. That's smitten. The same fellow they were talking to. Yeah, smitten. Here goes Rakish into smitten. Oh! Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sheldon. Sheldon. Yeah. No LBWs. No leg buys. So lots of wickets gone up begging because those rules are not implemented. Up into the black hole, black hole again. And they're running. They get the second run. So it's two runs for one wicket. We're in first over. Oh, he didn't play it, so he had to go back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just one for one. One for one. Business like Rakish. Reminds me of a Bernard Julian. Oh, collected beautifully by the keeper. Oh, he passed him. Passed him. He That's moved, move in the right direction, passed under him. I <laughs> yeah, thought he had it. So that's two for one. The left hander, no one strike. Oh, no, wonderful delivery. It's the end of the first over. Two runs for one wicket. Yeah. 
pulls it beautifully into the boundary it goes for four. Score goes on to six for one. Over number two. Let's see what will happen. Let's see if he goes back short again. He comes over the wicket this time. And looking to pull it. Wide signal. And the score goes on to seven. Seven it is for one. Pulls it beautifully. Gets two runs, ball ricochets from the fielder, and he recovered quickly. Oh. Young Burgi scores on to nine. Tries to square drive it, misses it. Ball goes through to the keeper, and then there's no run. It's nine for one in over number two. They need to get, what, 36? Mm. No ball win signal. Now a free hit. Hits it into the air. One bounce to him. Would not have been out anyhow. That was a free hit. Another run. Ten. The left hander. Left hander. Smitten. Ball him. Beautiful delivery. The light, the light is a bother. What happens next? Batsman comes in. Who will it be? Another left hander. Yeah, who will be Well, the decision has to be made by the organizing committee. Bad light has stopped play. The batsmen are walking off the field. They are three quarters of the way. Out, what will it be? Because there's no lighting here 
at the grounds that will enable the batters to see the ball properly. So the president and the PRO and the secretary and the treasurer, they'll have to talk to the captains and come to a decision. The umpires are still there. We'll wait and see. The umpires are picking up, picked up the stumps, and a final decision has to be made as to how this game would go. Chasing 30 odd. <laughs> oh my goodness. So they forfeit the game? Yes, they said they want to be joint winner. No, they forfeit the game. You will have a better net run rate. You have a better net run rate. Yes. It can't be any joint winners. Bad light stop play and you, yes, you have the better net run rate. Right. But we'll get the final decision from the organizers to see what.